Hello and welcome to Broad Lane Leisure. I'd like to demonstrate in this Swift Fairway Platinum the cooking facility which is made by Thetford. Uh, this particular appliance is what we call dual fuel. In other words, it will work off mains electrics with the electric hob and we also have three gas rings and the remainder operation is obviously going to work off a gas supply. Uh, the mains, you've got to obviously have mains available. Uh, so it is just a case you come to the left hand valve here, this far left hand valve and it's numbered one to six and you rotate it and I'll uh, just put my hand on it just so I know it is working because we have got a main supply coupled up on this and yes that's getting nice and warm so that was just on one. You can rotate it either to the left uh, anti-clockwise or you can rotate it clockwise and uh, that's obviously on the higher heat, the hottest heat being number six. So the higher the number the hotter that plate's going to get and uh, the lower the number the more for simmering etc. Uh, the remaining part of the operation is for gas supply with an electronic ignition to all of those uh, particular rings and grill and oven. So I'm going to operate this particular valve, the next one to the mains one. I'm going to rotate it through 90 degrees. As you can see, I've pressed the valve in slightly to get it to turn. I press it in again and hold it. Press the electronic ignition, which is 12 volts. And you can see the flames are now ignited. Just keep that depressed for a further few seconds and then release and the flame should stay on. If you don't leave it depressed for a few seconds, what we call a flame failure device doesn't heat up and therefore doesn't detect the gas supplies there and it shuts itself off, which I'll demonstrate on one of the other two rings in a moment. That's on high, that's on a low supply, and there's off. And then so I'll demonstrate if you don't leave it now uh, pressed in long enough. So I'm gonna rotate it through 90 degrees to the full flame, press it in, strike it, and because I released it straight away, the flame's not been detected as it has done now. All right, so flame fade device on those appliances. Just keep them in for a few seconds. Flames detected, and there they are. So that's your hob. And coming down now to the grill operation, we're coming more to the two central locations here. This one is for the grill, this one is for the oven. Rotate it through 90 degrees, press the valve in, strike the electronic ignition. I can see the flame reflected into the base of the grill, but you might be able to now see the grill itself. Uh, that's on a high setting, release after a few seconds, and then uh, you can have it on what desired setting you wish between low and high, really. Okay, and then back there for off. If this is in a brand new installation in a brand new caravan, you will get a slight burning smell emitted off the grill in particular. It's just burning off any of the uh, oils in, that they use in uh, manufacturing. Uh, so that will smoke slightly and give off a slight smell when it's first being used. You're just burning that oil off, but you won't notice it on the hob and you won't notice it on the oven. It's just on the grills that we get that to uh, happen. Uh, while I'm also on the grill area, this is the uh, grill pan that comes with it. So the handle can only go in one position. It hasn't got any other locations apart from that particular area here. The handle approaches at a 45 degree and locks in place like so. So you can lift it and move it. And then if you want to remove the handle, just lift it up and then remove it like so. It makes it easier for cleaning when it's going into the sink bowl if the handle's not present. So that's the location for where the grill pan can go and travel. Just put that out of the way. Close that up for a second. This is where you do have to be careful uh, a little bit. Obviously, uh, I've got a door here, so you've got to make sure, obviously, that you know people are aware you're operating in this area if the oven's on. Turn it to, again, oops, wrong one. Turn it to the uh, full flame. So that's the central, central one on the right-hand side. And the full flame is at 260 degrees. Press the valve in, strike the flame at the back. Away she goes and that's now stayed on. Uh, I could load the flame down, but there's no alteration at the moment. I've lowered the temperature down to 120 degrees, but the flame doesn't vary itself because you've got an inbuilt thermostat until the oven doors closed and obviously heat then uh, rising within the oven uh, aperture area. And once it's reached that 120 degree temperature, that's when it will regulate itself and lower down to a lower temperature. Uh, just also to point out that the grill, uh, the oven area, it has got one shelf in this particular fairway model that you can uh, bring into three different positions. Okay, 
So thank you for listening to this uh, demonstration on the Thetford oven.